I'm definitely wearing my Halloween clothes a lot. I love this little skeleton top. This is actually from Shein. I got it last year and my earrings are little skeletons from Timu. If I can find either one of these, actually I saw a girl wearing this shirt at the 5K I ran yesterday, so maybe it's still available. If I can find the shirt or the earrings, I will link them for you. But I'm going to have a Halloween themed breakfast today. We're actually going to make a Halloween treat later. It's just going to be a Halloween spooky season packed day. So I'm going to use my new Dash waffle maker. I got this at my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. I will see if they have this on Amazon. So one of you guys commented and said that you got it on Amazon. I'll see if I can find it. There is a pumpkin one as well. Anything I can find, I'll link it for you. But it's this cute little ghost waffle maker. I'm so excited to actually use this. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. And I'm going to make protein waffles with the Devotion Sinful Cinnamon Protein Powder. Devotion just came out with gingerbread protein powder too. Yum, that would be amazing in the waffles. But I have the Sinful Cinnamon on hand. This is 100 calories, yes, 100. 110 calories, 20 grams of protein. And all I do is mix the protein powder in with unsweetened regular canned pumpkin and it makes the perfect waffles. And it's so low calorie and it has over 20 grams of protein. And then I put this beautiful peach in my fridge this morning before I went to boot camp, So it's nice and cold. I'm going to slice that up on the side. I did have my protein coffee this morning a little bit before boot camp. I just finished the rest of it while I got ready for the day. So I have had one protein supplement. This will be my second protein supplement today. So let's make some cute little ghost waffles for a Halloween breakfast. Look how cute this is. It's this shiny purple. And then there's the ghost on one side and then the waffle grid on the other. Really similar to my pumpkin one that I have. So I'm actually going to get this warming up while we mix together the protein powder and the canned pumpkin. When this orange light goes off, we know that our waffle maker is warmed up and ready to go. So I'm going to add one scoop of the Devotion Protein. This packet is the same as one scoop out of the big tub. And I just add canned pumpkin until I have a batter consistency. I do have a discount code for Devotion. I use my code whenever I order. So I will link it down below for you if you wanna grab the Sinful Cinnamon or try the new gingerbread. I think the gingerbread will be really fun for holiday flavored waffles and pancakes. And they have a lot of other really great proteins. I like the angel food cake and the brownie batter for baking. Devotion's my favorite protein powder for baking. Not my favorite for protein shakes, but my favorite hands down for baking. So I just mix, like I said, until I have a batter like consistency. So this is what you want it to look like. So the light just turned off. So I'm going to spray my little dash waffle maker with some nonstick cooking spray. And normally I can get two or three waffles out of my mix. So I'm going to add some to the waffle maker, close it up, and then the light will go on when it's ready. So the light just went off. I think I said on, but it goes off when it's ready. Oh, I probably should have put a little bit more batter in. That's so cute. Okay, let's do a little bit more batter for this second one. I'm just gonna put it all in there. I hope that that's not too much. So I would say you'll get two waffles out of your batter. So just do a better job than I did dividing it in half. Okay, let's see if this one turned out a little better. Oh yeah, okay, so divide it in half. Okay, that is so cute. Look at the ghost. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so I have my peach. I'm going to add a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter to divide it out between my two pan, my two waffles. And then I have the Chalk Zero Maple Syrup. I'm going to do a tablespoon divided between my two waffles. Seriously, so much fun. So cute for Halloween. So I have my two waffles and my delicious chop my delicious fresh peach. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. So we have to run some errands, but before we leave, I'm taking my Bellway. So you guys always ask, when do you take Bellway fiber gummies? On days that I work out, I take my Bellway gummies. These are extremely effective for regulating your digestive system, healthy gut microbiome, which also means that it helps 
regulate everything. So I don't like to take these prior to working out. I don't want to be in a position where these kick in and I don't have the right facilities. So I always take them once I get home and once I eat some breakfast. These are vegan, USDA organic. They're in the flavor raspberry lemon and they are so good. What I love about these, which is very different than most gummy supplements, is there's no added sugar. A lot of gummy supplements have so much sugar that you have to actually track them calorie wise, weight watch or point wise, not bell Bellway. Bellway has no added sugar, so you don't have to track these. You're not going to get a bunch of carbohydrates and sugar, but you are going to get four grams of fiber. So I take three of the little Bellway gummies every morning, again, once I get home from working out. And like I said, these are really great for just regulating your digestive health. If you suffer from any type of constipation, this is going to relieve it immediately. And it's an all natural, vegan, organic way to do that. They taste amazing. They're seriously a staple for me. You can see that my bottle is almost gone. You can sign up for their monthly shipment. That's what I do. Then you just get a bottle delivered to your doorstep every single month. And I do have a code. It's Gen25 for 25% off of your order. So I'll put all the information down below for you. I will also pop the QR code here on the screen if you just want to scan that for the discount. Because I work out five days a week, I take my Bellway Super Fiber Gummies at least five days a week. Love these. These have changed my gut microbiome health. They've changed my regularity. And I love that they're sugar-free. So I'll have Bellway linked down below for you. Both of my dogs are staring at me for treats. So we're going we're gonna to do treats. That's the good girl who comes in the kitten. Here you go, baby. Palmer. This little turd. Excuse me, where are you? Are you still in the dog bed? Palmer. Palmer. You made mommy come all the way back for you. Here you go. Hello from my car. We, like I mentioned, I have a few errands that I need to run this morning. Actually quite a few different errands. We need to go to the post office. I've got a package to mail, a bill to mail. I need a car wash because I've been going to Tucson a little bit more. So my car is covered in bugs. I do have a monthly car wash package. So basically I pay a flat fee and I can go to the car wash as many times as I want. So we're gonna take the car through the car wash. I think I'm gonna do that last though, since it is on my way home. I also need to go out to the UPS store. I've got a couple of Amazon returns. I spent so much money on Amazon Prime Days way too much money. I did get a lot of new stuff. I got a lot of stuff for our new house. Actually, there's quite a few things coming today. And there's two things sitting over here that I got for the new house that I don't like at all. One of them, I was shocked at how much I didn't like it. I will pop a picture of it here. It's this piece of artwork that I thought number one was much larger and I didn't realize that it was shiny gold and that is not my style at all and then the other thing is this wreath which I actually really like the aesthetic of it but when I got it it's just really flimsy the little feathers they just flop around and I have a feeling and I think if I stuck it on the wall which is where I would put it those feathers would just lay really flat not worth the money. Neither one of those things I liked at all. So I'm going to return those. I'm going to grab a coffee at Starbucks. I have not had a Starbucks coffee for quite a while. I did have a coffee yesterday after I ran the 5k. I'll tell you guys about the 5k I ran in Friday's video and my weigh-in video. I like to do some updates with you guys. And then I'm going to take you guys out to our new house. They have made quite a bit of progress. According to the superintendent, nothing is going on today. Tomorrow is when they start working on our property again. They'll actually be pulling in all of the sewer pipe. I've been filming the whole process for my vlog, but I thought we could go out there just on the off chance that something is happening. Otherwise, I can show you kind of where we are right now. Everything is dug for the sewer pipe and pipes and the electrical. And then they get ready to pour the foundation and then framing. It's really, really exciting. We're actually meeting with our realtor tomorrow to go over the options for our current home, kind of when we want to list it, price, all of that. What does the market look like, especially in the community we currently live in? So we've just got a lot going on. I also have a a pretty sad I have some devastating news that I want to share with you as well so maybe I'll do that once we leave the post office on our way to pick up my coffee from Starbucks because that will be our next stop but I'm pulling into the post office let's go mail these off so today is Columbus Day 
so the post office isn't open. We're standing there and we're like, it's 12 minutes after eight. Why is the post office not open? Because it's apparently a holiday. So I dropped my mail in the drop slot through a stamp on it. I'll just have to come back to mail the package. That is for my paid Facebook group. We do weekly giveaways. So I send out a whole big goodie bag. That Facebook group, my paid Facebook group, the holiday challenge has been so much fun. There's so many amazing people in there. It's a busy, busy challenge. It's been really fun. So I guess I'll just come back tomorrow and mail that off. I did go ahead and order my coffee from Starbucks. I'm going to do my favorite iced Americano with sugar-free vanilla, three quarters of an inch of vanilla sweet cream on top. My favorite, favorite coffee from Starbucks. I've been drinking it a lot. I track it as one Weight Watcher point just for the sweet cream that's on there, but it's literally... I want to say it's less than 50 calories for the sweet cream. So let's go grab our coffee. Then we'll go to the UPS store. I just looked online and it says that they're open. So fingers crossed the UPS store is open. All right, I just grabbed my coffee. So here is what she looks like. Miss Starbucks was insanity, probably because it's a holiday. Aren't the kids out of school on Columbus Day? And I think anybody who works for the state city government is off today, kind of like the post office is being the post office being closed. So while I'm driving out to the UPS store to do those Amazon returns, like I mentioned I have some pretty devastating news. Uh, as you know, I went to my 30 year high school reunion in July. It was amazing. It was much better than I even expected it to be. And at my reunion, I mentioned that I had reconnected with my best friend Erica from high school and that I had reconnected with my friend Curtis, who's been my friend since fifth grade. And I hung out with them the entire reunion. I went to Erica's house the day of the reunion before it started to just spend a little bit of time with her and since the reunion in July I've been in constant contact with both of them I've made it a priority because I was so grateful for rekindling our friendship that I didn't want that to fizzle out I wanted to continue nurturing that friendship so a couple of weeks ago my friend Curtis he doesn't have any social media other than Instagram he had sent me an Instagram message not this last week but the week before and said, hey, you look great. I'm so proud of you. He knows that I've struggled with my weight my entire life. We actually had a pretty heart-to-heart -heart conversation about that when we reconnected before the reunion. And I had messaged him back and I said, yes. I said, thank you so much. I love you. He's like, love you too. And then I noticed that the next, that, that Sunday, so not this Sunday that just passed, but the Sunday before, that he had posted a beautiful Instagram reel outside the window of his apartment. He actually lives on the Spokane River. So he had posted this beautiful mist from the Spokane River and just said how grateful he was to have a beautiful view out of his apartment. And at the reunion, Curtis's plus one was Susie. So I know Susie as well. She was actually a year older than us, but I know her just from my friendship with Curtis. Well, he brought Susie to the reunion. So I also kind of reconnected with Susie and we have also stayed in touch through since the reunion. Well, Wednesday, I was actually on my way to get my pedicure and I got a message through Facebook from Susie letting me know that my friend Curtis had passed away and honestly the only emotion I felt in the moment was shock like I kept thinking this can't be real so I messaged back I'm like what are you talking about what's going on so she messaged me back again and I did not have her phone number we had just been communicating through Facebook so she messaged me back and she gave me her phone number and she's like if you want to call me you can so I immediately called her I was actually driving from again my house to my pedicure which is about a 10 minute drive and she let me know that Curtis had indeed passed away. She went over to his apartment Tuesday, the day before that evening. They had dinner plans on Tuesday and she went over to his apartment and knocked on the door and he didn't answer. She does have a key to his apartment. So she went in because she thought maybe he just was, maybe he didn't hear her knocking on the door. And unfortunately she found him passed away in his bed and I'm sure that was probably one of the worst moments of her life. They have been friends for 30 years. I would say Susie was truthfully his very best friend. I mean, he brought her to the reunion as his plus one. And she immediately, of course, called the police, called 
Then they immediately called the coroner. They came and they picked up Curtis's body. As of today, I don't have any updates. They are trying to figure out, number one, what was the cause of death? Number two, when did the death occur? Susie thinks it probably occurred on Sunday and she found him on Tuesday evening. Nobody had spoken to him since Sunday. So no one spoke to him at all Monday. So again, we're waiting for more of the details, but I was absolutely crushed absolutely crushed. I'm still crushed. I'm still devastated. I immediately called my friend Erica, told her she was sobbing on the phone. It was a very, very emotional day. And it's been really emotional ever since just trying to figure out what happened, right? And the why and all of the things that we wish we would have known. So maybe this wouldn't be the current situation. And yeah, it was a very, very hard day on Wednesday. It's been hard ever since. Susie thinks that there may be some additional information coming out this week. They will most likely have some type of memorial service for him. I would love to go. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to make that happen. But yeah, it was, it's been a hard week. I miss him. I wish I could still message him. I mean, if any, I just wish that I could message him and I keep, it's so weird because I keep opening up Instagram. And like I said, that's the only social media he had. And I expect to see him post like a reel or a story and nothing. It's been really, really hard for me. Troy's been a great support system for me. I actually called my mom, let my mom know, like I said, I've been friends with him since fifth grade. And unfortunately, Curtis was an identical twin and his identical twin, Craig, passed away three years ago. So I lost two friends and it's just, it's been really hard. So I've been trying to keep myself busy. I've been trying to focus on all the positive memories. My mom actually found a few pictures of Craig and Curtis and myself growing up. She's sending those to me just so that I have them as a memory, but I wanted to share with you guys, let you know. So yeah, it's been, it's been a rough week, but I'm get, I'm making it through. And like I said, I just keep focusing on all of those positive memories. So here is what our property is looking like. So yeah, there is no work being done today. I think possibly because it is Columbus Day, there's not even all of the houses in the area. A lot of the houses that are currently being built don't have anybody working either. So like I said, it's a possibility that they're taking advantage of the holiday, good for them. But everything is looking amazing. I'm so excited. The next step, I'll show you what it's going to look like because there's another house that is at the next stage already. So I'll show you what the next step is, but we are dug up and we are ready for plumbing and electrical. That is what these blue, can you see those blue piles? Those are the electrical wires. So we have them as well. And they actually break ground on this property, our neighbor's house tomorrow. So that's exciting for them. So this is the next step for us. So this is another property, another house being built. So do you see all the sewer pipes? So once they dig it all out, like they've done on our property, the next step is they come in and do all of the sewer pipes. And then from there, we have this, where they're getting it all leveled out, gravel filled in before the foundation is poured. This is our other set of neighbors that ended up switching properties. So not a lot going, so nothing really going on today, but I thought since I was literally five minutes away at the UPS store that I would show you kind of where we are in the process. Again, I'm filming the entire thing. That vlog will most likely be out mid-November. I want to wait until they start framing before I put that vlog out, but yeah, so exciting. So last stop is the car wash. And I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to have one of my Bada Bean Bada Boom, the sweet sriracha, 110 calories, six grams of protein, some fiber. So I'm going to munch on that while my car is being washed. And then on my way home, that'll tide me over until I have some lunch. I buy these on Amazon. It's actually a variety box with three different flavors. I like the sweet sriracha and the mesquite barbecue the best. And there's a plain one. These are really good. They remind me of corn nuts. So I'll link them on Amazon for you. to clean out the dishwasher and then we've got some things to make. I actually need to make Lola's food and then I want to make pumpkin muffins, like Halloween jack-o'-lantern pumpkin muffins. So I thought we could do all of that together. 
So I'm going to make Lola's food. I did share this a couple weeks ago in a What I Eat in a Day. It's really simple. This is just a recipe that I found online. So I'm gonna do a pound of the lean ground turkey. I do six hard boiled eggs. I just chop those up a can of green beans and then some rice and I mix it all together and then I mix that in with her kibble and it allows her to get in lower protein diet but all the vitamins and minerals that come in the kibble that's not in human food and she seems to really like the adult kibble that I got so I'm gonna whip up her food I'll show you what it looks like and then let's make some pumpkin muffins I have Lola's food cooling this is the rice that ground chicken and the beans and then I dice up her eggs and I'll add those in once it's cool and I also before I have some lunch I want to make the crusty's pumpkin spice mix I have been using I made cookies with this and they were so good but I think I want to make little Halloween muffins these are little jack-o-lantern shaped muffin molds and so it's really easy I'm going to do one pack of the mix I'm going to sub unsweetened applesauce for the oil two eggs, mix it all together. We're gonna have to bake them in two sections since this is only six, and I'm guessing that this pouch will probably make 12. So I'm going to add in the mix. It smells so good. It's actually really good. They say you can make waffles, pumpkin bread, pretty much everything with it, and this big box was at, I think, Sam's Club for like $6. I'm going to do two eggs. And then about a half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Again, that's in place of the oil. I have my oven preheating to 350, and I'm going to stir this up, and then we'll scoop it into our little Halloween muffin mold. I think it's actually a brownie mold, but we're making muffins. All right, now I'm gonna scoop the mix into the mold. I'm going to go about maybe three quarters of the way full. So I actually got six muffins out of the batter. So they're nice and full. They may be a little over full when they're done. I did tap it down on the counter to try to even it out. I'm going to throw it in a 350 degree oven. The muffins are out of the oven. These are large and in charge. I did fill them quite full just so that I could get six and not have to put my little pan back in. I am going to let them cool completely. And then I have this super cute plate that has little pumpkins on it. I'm going to put the muffins on there and hopefully the design comes out perfect on the bottom. These turned out so cute. You can actually see the little pumpkin faces. So much fun. Oh my gosh, I love these. That little mold is so cute. Like I said, you can do brownies. You can really do so many different things in there. I think I might have got it on Amazon a couple years ago. If I can find it, I'll link it for you. But these turned out so cute. So I'm gonna have some lunch. I actually cooked up burger patties for us last night for dinner. I have the 93.7, so I'm going to have one of those. I'm going to put a piece of the aged white cheddar cheese on there from Sargento. Oh, and I have the Lakanto monk fruit sweetened ketchup. It's almost gone. I'm gonna add some ketchup. And then I've got a tiny bit of raspberries and golden berries, I think they're called, that I picked up at Whole Foods, so I'm going to have a side of fruit. So here's my lunch. I have my patty with my slice of cheese, sugar-free ketchup. The raspberries were not the hottest. There's only two or three that were good, but the golden berries are good, so that is going to be today's lunch. Hey, you. Give me a ball. Oh, is it daddy? Oh, here comes daddy. He's gonna play ball side Palmer. Oh, did he get a ball? Oh, he did. Oh, daddy got a good one. Yeah. Oh, Lola. Lola. Lola, come here. Oh, hi. It's a baby. She's the most beautiful. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. How dirty that is. What? You look so dirty that is. I know. Palmer, you ready to play ball side? He's very interested in dad because dad throws the ball. Oh, I can't throw this ball. Yes, here we go. Go, 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 go. She just sits right next to me on the couch. Lola. <laughs>
I'm going to make a snack plate for an afternoon snack. This is one of my favorite things to do. I use these little snack plates that I bought off of Amazon. They were actually on a really good sale for Prime Day. I linked them in, I put them in my Facebook group for Prime Day. They're still really affordable. You get a set of four and they do have a little cup for sauce. Sometimes I'll put my nuts in there, but today I'm gonna have some hummus. So I'm gonna use the little cup for that. I have this dill pickle hummus from the brand Lantana. I really like this hummus brand and this is really good. If you like dill pickles, you will love this. So I'm going to put two tablespoons in my little snack tray and I'm gonna dip in one tablespoon, one tablespoon, no, one serving of the protein pretzels. These are in the flavor sesame. It is so good with the dill pickle hummus. There's everything, sea salt and sesame, all of them are really good in the pretzels, but the sesame for some reason is my favorite with hummus. So this bag actually has two servings in it, so I'm going to have one serving, and that's actually going to give me 15 grams of protein, which is crazy. These are amazing. You can buy these on Amazon as well, and I do have a discount code that you can use on Amazon, so I'll link that for you. So I'm going to dip the pretzels in the hummus. I'm going to have a baby bell cheese, some cucumbers for a veggie, and that way I can use whatever hummus is left over with the cucumbers, and then I'm going to have two of the Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites for like a little sweet of my snack tray. These are like little mini oatmeal cookies. Troy even likes these, so he eats these, I eat these. They have fiber in them, nice clean ingredients. Love these, I buy these on the Alyssa's website. I know stores like CVS carries them, some health food stores, nowhere in my area, so I just order them on our website. So let me put together my snack plate. So here is my snack plate, this looks Incredible. So I've got my couple of cookies, my baby bell cheese, cucumbers, one serving of the pretzels. So there's a lot in a serving. And then two tablespoons of the dill pickle hummus. Hello. Look how handsome he is. He's the most handsomest little toy in the world. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I'm making beef and broccoli ramen stir fry, but I'm taking a little shortcut. I'll tell you what that is, but let me show you what's in dinner. So you're going to need a couple packages of ramen noodles, only the noodles, not the seasoning, some broccoli, steak, salt and pepper, and I'm going to use this stir fry sauce. I have this in my pantry, and so I'm going to use it up. The recipe actually has you make a homemade sauce, so I will have the original recipe on my website. Again, I'm just taking a shortcut for time reasons, and again, to use up the soy sauce in my cabinet. So let's get started on dinner. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice up my steak into thin strips. So I have a skillet over medium heat sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I diced up my steak. I'm going to add that to my skillet. Spread that out kind of even one layer in the bottom of the skillet and then I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper. In my saucepan over here, I have water coming to a boil. We're going to add in our ramen noodles. Just go ahead and discard the seasoning packet. I went ahead and drained the ramen noodles. I'm going to remove the steak from my skillet. I'm going to leave the liquid from the steak in the skillet. Then to the skillet, I'm adding my bag of broccoli. Ooh, we got some, some broccoli leaves in there. Let's pull those out. And we're going to allow these to basically steam or become bright green and cooked through. So I have steamed my broccoli. I'm going to add back in the steak. A couple more minutes before we add in the ramen noodles and the stir fry sauce. Then I'm adding in my cooked packets of ramen noodles. And again, I'm going to mix that in with the steak and the broccoli. And then lastly, you'll add in your sauce, whether you use prepared or make it based on the recipe. And then we're just going to mix that together. Everything's cooked, so we just want to allow it to warm through. So here is what dinner looks like. This smells so good. It re it's reminding me of a really good Chinese restaurant. So I'm going to go ahead and plate it up. I'm gonna sprinkle some sesame, on, sesame seeds on top and I'll be back to show you dinner. So here is dinner. This looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in. I will put all the information here on the screen for you. 
So for dessert tonight, I'm having a Wonder Square. You guys know how much I love these. I buy these on Amazon. This is literal, look at this, like a Reese's peanut butter cup, 100 calories, 10 grams of protein. These are so good. They're one of my favorite desserts. They're a nice, sweet treat, definitely like a Reese's peanut butter cup. But again, 100 calories, eight grams of protein. I also have the hazelnut one, and that is really good too. So if you are interested in these, again, I buy them off of Nutrition. I will have Nutrition linked down below for you with a discount. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing everything that I ate. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website. Everything I talked about today, including Bellway, definitely grab the Bellway Fiber Gummies, will be linked in the description box. I'll also have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. I hope you have an amazing, amazing week, and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.